Sex is more than an act of pleasure. It's the ability to be able to feel so close to a person, so connected, so comfortable that it's almost breathtaking to the point you feel you can't take it. And at this moment, you're a part of them. Mm -hmm. Today on the Nzuri Show, we shall be looking at a very controversial subject. Can a relationship exist without sex? I still have my girls with me here today to dissect this all-important subject. And our guest today is Ruby Munzengi, an MC, speaker, the founder of Anaka Glam, a makeup and a beauty brand. Welcome to the show, Ruby. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. <laughs> welcome, ladies. Thank, thank you. you. Thank oh, looking you. so good. So lovely. Oh, thank you. I love all the colors. <laughs> We're like the rainbow here. Aren't we? we are. <laughs> Yes. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Rumbi, tell us about yourself. Like you've yeah. got all that that's going on. You, you're a makeup artist. You, you know, you've got a brand. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a guest, an MC. I can't even say everything right <laughs> right now. <laughs> I do a lot. Yeah. I do a lot. So yeah, just let it, tell us. Like as a woman, yeah. how do you balance being yeah. all those things? I mean, it's it's quite difficult, but I guess the way that I take it is I've just sort of given myself the freedom in the last yeah. two years yeah. to do as much as I want to do and to explore all my talents. Because I feel like, particularly being African, a lot of yeah. the times you're not allowed to explore certain things. It's, you know, that one thing, mm -hmm. you go, you get your degree, you get your job, that's it. Yeah. Um, and I guess it just kind of got to a point where that became very stale in my life that yeah. wasn't fulfilling. So I'm just kind of doing it all. It doesn't have to make sense. Yeah. It doesn't have to break bank. I yeah. just have to do it. I love that. <laughs> no limits. Yeah. No yeah. Yeah. As long as you enjoy what you're doing. That's yeah. Great. Yeah, that's the thing. And uh, with the wellness, with mm -hmm. the wellness brand, like when you... Uh, do all the things that you do. Do you feel mm -hmm. you said about not limiting yourself? Mm -hmm. Sometimes do you have those thoughts, self-limiting thoughts, and you feel, oh, today I can't do this. And sometimes you, would you feel like you're stretching yourself too thin? Yeah. Have you had that of feeling? Of course, absolutely. I'm yeah. human. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so I do go through those processes of feeling like I'm not, I either go through a process of feeling like I'm not doing enough yeah. or I feel like I'm doing too much. I think everyone puts pressure into having this one stable brand and yeah. I feel like I'm super young yeah. I'm in a place where there's so many opportunities so I don't want to limit myself mm -hmm. so even when I do go through those thoughts of being or feeling like I'm you know doing too much I'm spreading myself too thinly yeah. I remind myself that it's not that serious mm -hmm. you know that. I do want to make money I want yeah. everything that I do to be successful but at yeah. the same time I'm doing this because it makes me happy at I the know. end of the day Good. so yeah that. and I, I have to say that your face is really yeah, yeah. The <laughs> It's the definitely, goal. yeah, Thanks the goal is there. <laughs> yeah. I'm just staring at like, the shape. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. You know, I had to do yeah. this for you guys. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. We did this for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys so look amazing. Choice. Thank you. Thank you. So, ladies, let's just start by asking why do we need relationship? What's that human basic instinct or like a primal need for having a relationship? I'll start with you, Rumbi. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, you know, I think at the end of the day, the basis is that we're human beings and yes. we crave connection the same yeah. way that you want friends. Mm -hmm. Um, you also want that romantic relationship. You want yeah. somebody that calls you in the morning and tells you you're beautiful. You yeah. want so, you want that person, like your own person. So I guess that's probably why. And I think it's just natural. We've been conditioned to believe mm -hmm. that you can't be alone. Yeah. So yeah. I think at the end of the day, we don't even know if we need it or not. We just mm -hmm. know that that's what you have it's to do. It's important to have it. Yeah. Yeah. I guess mm -hmm. right from the beginning, there's like Adam and Eve, like, you know, yeah. God mm. created uh, Adam mm -hmm. and then brought Eve because yeah. he knew that he, um, Adam needed a companion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I guess just looking it down from there, it's yeah, it's it's a normal thing for us. Like you need someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for me as well, it goes back to like just like my mom sort of giving birth to me. It's like I didn't yeah. just come mm -hmm. from nothing. Yeah. I came from like a human being and just me being in her tummy for like nine months, that's also building that relationship. Relationship. Yeah. Like I needed her to be able to survive, her mm -hmm. eating also to yeah. make sure that I survived. And I feel like as Africans as well, like the idea of just communal sort of living and we're sort of community related because mm. that's actually how you survive because mm. the ideas of money, things like this, staying busy, that's mm. still, um, I don't know, I think it's better to just have 
friendships and families because that's what keeps it keeps you going. Yeah. You wake up in the morning, you're like, you know what, I want to make money because so and so, like they're here supporting me and I want to yeah. give back to them. I want to build a better future for myself. And mm. So it's always about the just it's not just about yourself it's yeah it's about mm, someone true. that you're related mm -hmm. to yeah, yeah. I and i, I agree proud. i want to make it proud mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. absolutely i agree that it's you know from someone waking up to someone saying you're beautiful to yes. having that mother figure that brings you up and in africa yeah. like we all know that we we have very communal sense of living yes. so yeah. they say it takes a child to it takes a village to raise a child yeah that's not what it's yeah. <laughs> yeah so it's that thing that we've been brought up in relationships mm -hmm. and so yeah. we we have that and from the biblical aspect of it yeah it's, god created really adam from. and eve and, yeah. and that was relational yeah. so mm. for those of us who are christians so we all mm -hmm. we all know that and so yeah, yeah that creates that and that leads me to the other thing right mm -hmm. okay right into our topic for today <laughs> ladies this is a hot one okay can, <laughs> Trash it. can a relationship <laughs> exist without sex Oh, Rumi, <laughs> we shall put you on the spot <laughs> for that one. Not, really. I'm sure Rumi's got a lot to oh, say about okay. that. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. mm. I think there's so much that would have to go into context to why the people don't want to have sex. Yeah. Um, I've obviously, hi, mum and dad, I've obviously been raised in a Christian home, so the right thing to do is to wait mm -hmm. for marriage, for mm -hmm. me to have sex, you know, it's to abstain um, and up until your wedding night. Yeah. But um, obviously that's not the reality for mm -hmm. most people. So I think it, it, it just depends with why people are choosing to not have sex. Mm -hmm. Personally, I, mm, no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so your take is Quiet. not, relationship cannot No, I just don't see how sex. it would work, yeah, especially yeah. at a certain age. I think when you're much younger, it's very easy to say to someone, look, I don't want to have sex. You know, I, I've been in relationships when I was much younger where you could wait for two years and nothing happens and that's yeah. fine. It's absolutely normal. Yeah. But I think as you get older, I just don't know if that's possible. I just, mm -hmm. mm, I don't. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like you assess relationship based on sex these days as well. Yeah. Like it's part of one mm. of the boxes that you have to tick. Mm. Like if the sex is not good, why are you going in? <laughs> no, really. Why yeah. Be why because sex, sex, is actually, exactly. sex is part of, you know, it's part of who we are. It's part of mm. our happiness on earth. You know, mm. if you're going into a relationship, mm. if, especially romantic relationship, let's use that term. Exactly. If you're going yeah. into a romantic relationship, it, romantic means romance. If we're not romancing, <laughs> if we're what not, we really, then we should, be, we should be on yeah. the friend zone. You know, yeah. let's just make it friends. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I, I really don't, I wouldn't say yeah. that. I mean, I got yeah. what you're saying about the mm. biblical or biblical mm. um, aspect of it with our parents. Or you, you have to wait till after you get married before yeah. you. Some parents even do Most like. Of them didn't wait. Yeah, they yeah. didn't wait. Mm. I mean, Keep those. I think it's, <laughs> that's a point. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's a valid point. Yeah, there's a difference between the old days and now. Because yeah. the old days, your parents decide for you and it's okay. Just mm. go into the relationship. Sex is not part of why mm. you're going into mm. the relationship. Most. Yeah of the time it's actually just like children like like mm. bearing children and mm. you know the purpose is different compared to what it is now mm -hmm. now people decide what they want and sex is part of it mm. you know it's you, you have to access it from the beginning because what if you get married and and, and the, 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 the stuff is like that <laughs> yeah Linda, Linda. you know you, you know <laughs> For me, I was yeah. going to say that I feel like um, Rumi touched on a really good yeah. point. It yeah. depends again on why uh, sex isn't there in the first mm. place. Mm. So it goes back because a lot of people have a lot of different things, that, bag I guess baggage that they come into the relationship mm -hmm. with. Some of um, some people like um, are not comfortable with sex, maybe yeah. due to the experiences they've had, whether it's to do with abuse or assault. Mm. So then people come in with a lot of things that sometimes you end up in like you know falling like uh, falling in love or like really giving this person a chance and you're like you know what i'm not ready for this stage because mm -hmm. i'm working through things and i feel like that's okay someone should give you that respect and space but also if they're willing to actually like take you in and um, be your boyfriend or your girl or your girlfriend mm -hmm. um and take you know that it's not baggage i wouldn't call it baggage yeah. it's just part of your story and your experience um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and I feel like that's when things get tricky, mm -hmm. and sometimes you feel as though you're forced into like, oh, this is this like the sex has to be there, but it doesn't have to. Like people can work 
the time, like the weather. So that's my opinion. Yeah. So like it's necessary. It has like it should be there, but, but sometimes it's not there because of other things. Yeah, yeah but that's that's mostly on the side of the women. I think. It, I, I think don't know. It's on both. I think, it can be both, honestly. Yeah. yeah. I mm -hmm. think it's on both, especially with what you, you touched on, where you say mm. that people experience different things, like mm -hmm. particularly now where there's the Me Too movement, or not yes. Me Too. Yeah. Me Too. Yeah. Um, and everyone's talking about their sexual experiences, you know, um, whether it's rape or whatever. And mm -hmm. we're now realizing that men do get raped as much as women do. Mm -hmm. And I think mm. sometimes that becomes a, a, an issue or a subject to why someone would not be comfortable being intimate with someone, mm -hmm. which is why you should be open to the idea of not necessarily having sex because if we mm -hmm. meet mm -hmm. and I'm in a place where I'm recovering from something I'm not ready to have sex with you it doesn't necessarily mean that I don't like you mm -hmm. or I'm not attracted to you yeah. I'm just not there yet and I think mm -hmm. that like you said a lot of women particularly young women end up having sex prematurely mm -hmm. because they feel like they don't have that choice a lot of men do feel like they're entitled mm -hmm. yeah. so Too, if yeah. you were to say I don't want sex you'd be looking at you like my guy why, why you not? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah exactly what, what, what yeah. are you doing why, yeah. 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 yeah but there's I, a lot yeah. of things yes yes mm -hmm. Mm. I feel like to add on what you ladies are saying is that we have different types of relationships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, we, a relationship is not just one thing. We have like younger couples. We have mm. mid age, middle age couples. We have older mm -hmm. couples. We have mm -hmm. married couples. We have mm -hmm. unmarried couples. Mm -hmm. In my uh, view and in my belief is that we we should have sex. We we can wait to have sex, but mm. it should be part of a relationship. Mm -hmm. But in a marital context okay. where a man and a woman have made that that vow yeah it, mm -hmm. due to my christian beliefs mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but with that said as well like you find um people who are like asexual people who are just not yeah, interested who, yeah, in, exactly. in sex yeah. and mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. i feel like a relationship can exist without sex for that purpose if people have mutually like agreed mm -hmm. but it can be can be very tough if one yeah. person is it depends on that level of agreement that you have as a couple Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have mm -hmm. to have communication. I think it's yeah, important 100%. to be able to have those conversations earlier mm -hmm. on, yes. to be open, to be vulnerable, to say, hey, this is what I want. And if you don't want it, tell me what well, I'm not going to be comfortable. Because a lot of men, I've had so many men mm -hmm. say that, you know, they're okay with being in a relationship with a woman and not getting sex. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that they're not going to get it from somewhere, somewhere else. else. Yeah. And yeah. it's like, well, that's, that's counter. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't work. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't work. Yeah. 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 But what, what would you say if someone, if I say, okay, let's wait till we get married before mm. we mm -hmm. have sex. Mm -hmm. And then you, you get married and realize that the sex isn't actually what we yeah. What no, would you that's advise a good, that's, a good, that's a good point. That's a, I mean, that's, God said, yeah, yeah, wait till you after, that's yeah. what the Bible says. I know, but they didn't give you the other man, instructions. Sex is really powerful in <laughs> yeah. relationship. A lot of people that cheat and yeah, like go it's out, it's most, most of the time sex, you know? Yeah. Mm. What I found is that there's two types of relationships, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's one that a relationship where the relationship there's first the relationship and then the sex and mm. then there's sex and then and the then relationship, relationship yeah. and okay. what I, from the findings what, what i think what yeah, i feel is that when you have sex like for instance if you keep having sex that sort of takes out the communication mm -hmm. so if you know in your initial stages of relationship and then uh you you keep you know you keep having sex so you won't have the communication and so you won't know the person <laughs> you won't know the person <laughs> so you <laughs> feel like sex can cloud it's your judgment. Cloud the judgment. but with that said with that said like um i've been in a relationship yeah. where mm. it hasn't necessarily been been that case yeah. like where we have you know we've we've done a few things i won't say <laughs> what <laughs> you know <laughs> But with that said, I still stand with that because yeah. especially with young people, I feel like they need to know that, mm. first of all, get to know the person, mm -hmm. have that mutual mm -hmm. agreement mm -hmm. yeah. and then decide where to go from there. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah, and people can even have, you know, like sicknesses or mm. pain or something that can stop you from mm -hmm. accomplishing that. So mm -hmm. let it made known mm -hmm. from yeah. the beginning. Mm -hmm. That way happening. you're not in like with surprises. Mm. <laughs> you need to know, yeah. That's it's true. not just um, know. there's so much. Again, that's what I was saying. There's so yeah. much. You guys still around did not answer that well, question. Well, okay, okay, we'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Let me answer your question. Let me answer your question. We're bringing it back. Yes, we're bringing it back. So, so we'll take a break, and when we're back, we'll get back to this very hot topic. Let me answer your question. Yes, we're bringing it back. Yes, we're bringing it back. So 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 we